This is a very simple dynamic voltage regulator using only a transistor and potentiometer. Or you can use any type of NPN transistor, of course. But here I'm using the IP3055, the big one, the bigger the better. So to make this, all you have to do is just to connect this base of transistor here to the center, let's say the base of this potentiometer, and then the collector here goes to the right pin, and then the emitter will be used as the output or the positive line here. And then the negative line of the output is connected to the other side of the pin and also this is will be the line the negative line for the input and lastly the positive line from the input is going to the collector yeah here is the collector so now let's see this dynamic voltage regulator in action Voltage here. So what the difference between this dynamic voltage regulator and this PWM controller? From what I can see, when I'm using this voltage regulator, this transistor is actually pretty warm. So when you use it for a long period, it will be a waste of your energy. Compared to this one, it doesn't generate any heat at all. I'm using 12 volt voltage from these three batteries. See? And it doesn't generate any heat at all. That means this PWM has a better efficiency in containing the power. 